Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Java 8 interview question. So the task is here is to short a list of employees by using Java 8 stream function. We'll have a list of employees and we need to short the employees either by using name or as or salary. So this is one of the basic question. And if you do it correct, you will get some confidence and you will get some trust of the interviewer. All right. So let me open the ID and let's write some code. All right, here we are. Let me go and create a class. So we'll be creating a class here. I'll just call it short employee. Okay, now the very first thing, let's go and create a class here. Let's call it employee. Right, so what I'm expecting here is I will be having an employee, say employee name. And I want to have uh, say employee is, and I also want to have set double value. Say for example, salary. Right. If you guys want, you can add more parameters, but I'm okay with these three. Let's go and create getter setters. And let's also create the constructor using fields. Okay. Let's create two string because we want to print the values. All right. So here we are done with our class. Now next task is to add some employees to our list, right? So basically add employees to list. So we'll be creating a list, list of type employee. Let's call it EMP list and then new error list, right? Let's type here employee. Let's import java.util.list and java.util.errorList. Cool. Now we need to add some employees here. So I already have a list of employees prepared. All right, guys. So what do we have? We have few employees added to our employee list. Okay. Now let me just print print the original list. This is not our task, but I'm just printing it so that we can compare the outcome list and I will be calling a for each, right? It is a consumer. E is like element of the list. System dot out dot print ln and I'll pass E here. Simple. You will see our original list of employees. Let me just bring it up. So this is what you see. We have employee name, we have employee is, and we have employee salary, correct? And currently it is not in any order. You see, not even by using name, not even by uh, is, not even by salary. Okay, so now let's suppose that our task is to short the list, we'll go with by name, right? Employee list dot, let's convert into a stream because here we are doing it in Java 8. So we are using, we are converting our list into a stream and then there's a function called sorted, okay? Now you see there is one more variant. There is one simple call shorted and there is one more where we need to pass a comparator, right? So let's invoke the second one. Okay, so compare it, right? So here let's pass to employees E1 and E2, right? And then what I want to do here is E1 dot say that we want to short by name, right? And then dot let's call the function called. So compare it, right? This particular interface is a function called compare to. Compared to with what? E2 dot name. E2 dot name, right? Now let's collect this result into a. So let me bring this down. I'll just take this down here. Now let's collect this result into a list. Say, so I'm using a collector function. I hope you guys know it. Collectors dot to list is the function that you can use to collect the result into a list, right? Let's get the result into a list. So list of employee and our list is sorted by let's say uh, sorted by name we made a spelling mistake now let's print our list sorted by name is our list dot uh, i can simply call for each right let's see another way of printing the value method reference i believe you guys know what is method reference if you do not know you can watch my video in which we have already discussed about the method reference right let me just write a sys out here sorted by does that is okay let's just print Okay, cool, right? Now, what do you see? You have your list sorted by name, H, then M, then VP, then have S, S, T. Harlin, they all, Mithali Ras, Priya, Smarti, Sneha, Tanya, right? So we have got our list printed in alphabetical order, correct? Now, let's say that you want to print your list, say, for example, sort by S. Now, this time, or like a new function of the Java to sort our list, right? So what I will do, I'll take our list, employee list dot Let's convert our list into a stream first, then short it. Now this time I will be using another approach, right? So let's see what I'm doing here is comparator 
dot there is a function called comparing if you see there are multiple variants if you want to sort by string values call comparing but if you have some like double value or if you want to sort by a field which is integer type or long type use the primitive variant so for us this time we are going to sort the list by using is so is is our integer value right so i will be calling comparing int okay now i'm using a method reference employee double colon operator get what, what do i want as and then dot again we'll collect the result same way collect as dot to list semicolon the result is going to be a list right so let's collect a list into a result into a list employee and this time say sort by as you can give better name but uh, for just for time being i'm calling it as short by as now let's take this one and let's print the value print the employees i'll call for each system if you guys want you can use this one like e is my element and then i can use system dot out dot print ln print ln and i'll pass the element okay let me just write this out here so that we can see the difference sort by as simple let me print run our program so what do you see now now this list is sorted by as 23 24 24 25 25 and 30 cool right so if you use comparing this particular function it's very easy because it provides multiple functions like you have comparing you have comparing into you have comparing long you have comparing double now say for example if you want to sort your list by salary so in our example salary what is the type of salary salary is double right so let's do that let's take our employee list dot let's convert into a stream dot shorted comparator dot comparing now this time double right and i'm using a method reference yy employee double current operator and what do i want i want salary right let's collect dot collect collectors we discussed about this how collectors works right to list let's collect into a list list and then say employee list and then sort by salary correct now if i have to print i can simply print dot for each system dot let's write one more this out here and by what salary which is a double value now in case if you have to sorry by salary I made a mistake here let's run our program okay cool now what do you see here salary so our list list of employees is sorted by salary 40,000 50 50 60 70 and 90 K cool right interviewer can ask you to filter out something can you please filter those elements where salary is less than 50 K right so what you can do is here you can modify this say, let me just take this as it is here see if you want to apply a filter correct so what you can do is you can call here you can call before you short you apply a filter let's call a function dot filter right filter what i want to filter the list of employees based on salary correct i have to pass e employee right and i want to take the salary give me the employees where salary is greater than fifty thousand. correct and let's I, i'm not going to collect i will simply print the values here right so what i can do here i can simply call for each here only right system dot out colon colon print ln what do i have i have my employee list convert into a stream applied a filter that i want a list of employees where salary is greater than fifty thousand, and then sort the employees by salary correct so let me write this out here first filter then sort okay let's run this one let's see the outcome so what do you see now in your list you just have three employees where salary is greater than fifty thousand, and that is also in the and your list is in sorted order of salary correct I hope you guys are getting it in case if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and if you think that you need more clarification or more examples just let me know in the comment section